In 1996, Uganda was embroiled in a conflict between the army and the rebels of the Lord's Resistance Army in northern Uganda. United Nations statistics estimate that more than 100,000 Ugandans were killed in the conflict and an estimated 60,000 to 100,000 children and adults were abducted by the rebels to be used as combats. Based on that, the government of Uganda in 2004 revealed the situation in northern Uganda to the International Criminal Court where a warrant of arrest was issued against five leaders of the Lord's Resistance Army. Dominic Ongwen, one of the leaders, was in 2015 taken to the ICC in The Hague and was convicted of 61 crimes against humanity. We shall do the following. Currently, the Irish Embassy, together with the other stakeholders in the Trust Fund for Victims, concluded a five-day monitoring visit with a call on other institutions for support is to create a foundation that supports all these activities and assures the victims that the government is part and parcel of the initiatives that will restore their lives in spite of the problems they face. As you know, we have got the Amnesty Act. Under the Amnesty Law, there are things that are happening. But I can only reassure you that on my desk, there is a law that will support the work of the Victims Trust Fund. That is the Transitional Justice Bill. Emotional visit of discovery, really, essentially. And we listened to incredible stories of, of suffering, um, inhumanity, cruelty beyond belief to be quite honest with you really important that i come back and listen to those stories again and i think we were all personally touched and moved by what we saw so there was an internal visit of discovery going on within all of us during a media engagement at kampala sheraton hotel it was revealed that member states under the international criminal court are focusing on giving assistance to over 60,000 victims who are affected by the conflict. They extend medical, psychological rehabilitation, as well as livelihood support. The president of the state parties and the ICC, Slivia Fandis, says the have so far partnered with more than 25 non-government organizations that are attached to different communities in the affected districts. Uh, I think we need to understand that the International Criminal Court is not uh, a court that is, uh, has been created to replace the national system. On the contrary, it is a last resort exceptional court that will step in only, only when the national systems cannot deal with the matter. So it is uh, the court steps in uh, at, at times to investigate and prosecute, but mostly it also promotes the national systems to do so. Um, those that were abducted and, and, and their children are part of the, the victim population. We work with, um, um, you know, what are called, you know, child mothers or women and children who are abducted. Um, they were um, subjected to forced pregnancy. Some, many of them were also combatants themselves. And so they are part of our, of our, of our programming. Some of them need specialized uh, services because of the sexual and gender, uh, the nature of the, uh, the abuse they suffered for sexual and gender-based violence crimes. The visit to northern Uganda was to bridge the gap between the ISIS delegates in Hague and the real war victims. Safi, Mokele Baloku and Chris, Samale Musa for CTV, Pia Magician.